Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah. Allahümme enfani bime allemteni ve allemni bime yenfani ve ziddiyen men ya rahme ve rahimin. My topic today is a normal lung segment anatomy on CT scan. As you know the right lung it is composed of three lobes and the left lung it is composed of the two lobes. The three segment in the right upper lobe and two segment in the middle lobe and five segment on the right lower lobe we have in the two lobes on the right above in the left upper lobe two segment in the anterior and abico posterior segment and the lingual segment we have superior inferior segment and four segments on the right in the left lower lobe. Here the right lung we have three segments as we said apical, anterior and the posterior. Middle lobe two segments, lateral and medial and lower lobe it is five segments, superior, medial, anterior, lateral and posterior segment. And then the left lung we have the upper lobe Abico posterior segment, anterior segment, and lingular two segments, superior, inferior, and the lower lobe, it is four segment, medial, anterior, and lateral and posterior segment. On the how to localize the segment on the CT scan, we use this levels. Level one level it is above the aortic arch and one level at the level of the aortic arch and one level at the left pulmonary artery and the other level at the right pulmonary artery and the last level at the level of the heart or ventricles of the heart. Here this is the level above the aortic arch only we see the apical segment of the right upper lobe and part of the apical segment of the left upper lobe. This is the second level at the level of the aortic arch. We divide the right lung on the three thirds. The, first, the upper third it is the anterior segment, the middle third it is the apical segment and the lower third it is the posterior segment and on the left lung we divide it in the two one third and two thirds the upper third it is the anterior segment of the left upper lobe and the lower two thirds it is the apical posterior segment of the left upper lobe at the level of the left pulmonary artery, here you see the left pulmonary artery, and you see here this is the right main bronchus, left main bronchus, and this is the upper lobe bronchus. And it means that uh, at that level, the here this is the fissure, and here this is the fissure, means that the upper lobe it is finished at that level. And we have the, this is the anterior segment of the right upper lobe, and this is the posterior segment of the right upper lobe. Apical segment, if it is present, it present in the small part uh, here, but usually not present. And this is the fissure, this is the superior segment of the left lower lobe, and this is the superior segment of left lower lobe. And here we divide it in two parts. This is the anterior segment of the left upper lobe, and this is the posterior segment of the left upper lobe. At the, the third level, at the level of the right pulmonary artery and here you see the right pulmonary artery and this is the fissure and you see the right main bronchus uh, uh, here and the bronchus here and this means the uh, upper lobe it will finish. This is the anterior segment here and what is here it is the medial segment of the middle lobe and what is here this is the superior segment of the right lower lobe and here this is the fissure and this is the this is the superior segment of the 
lingula and the medial part this is the inferior segment of the lingula this patient has extensive bronchiectatic changes at the last level the fifth level at the level of the ventricle of the heart or at the heart level here you see see this is the region of the fissure and you see the medial segment here and the lateral segment of the middle lobe and it is well seen here this is the medial segment and the lateral segment of the middle lobe and this is the fissure here and this is the fissure on the left side and what is left on the inferior segment and we divide here into three parts the upper third it is the anterior segment the middle third it is the lateral segment and the lower third it is the posterior segment of the right lower lobe and what is left here this is the medial segment of the right lower lobe here we divide into three parts the upper third it is the anterior segment middle third it is the lateral segment and the lower third it is the posterior segment and there is no medial segment on the left lower lobe here you see the left main bronchus right main bronchus and this is the right upper lobe bronchus and this is the anterior segment of the bronchus on the anterior segment of the right upper lobe and this is the posterior segment of the right lower lobe and this is the fissure and this is here the superior segment of the of the right lower lobe this is the bronchus intermedius this is the fissure this is the superior segment of the of the right lower lobe and here you see the middle lobe segment middle lobe here middle lobe and this is the lower lobe bronchus and this is the middle lobe segments this is the medial segment and this is the lateral segment this is the fissure and here we see the lower lobe segment of the bronchi this is the medial segment here this is the anterior segment here and b10 this is the posterior segment and b9 this is the lateral segment of the right lower lobe and this is on the left side this is the left main bronchus this is the anterior segment of the left upper lobe and this is the abico posterior segment of the left upper lobe and this is the fissure and this is the left main bronchus and thank you very much hoping you will be benefited from this mini talk